Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to compute percentiles and quartiles on Excel. So there are Excel functions for this, but I would I want to go ahead and demonstrate how to do this manually, and then I'll uh, go ahead and refer to the Excel functions. So here is a formula to calculate a percentile or a quartile. So we have n times k divided by 100, and then that result will add 0.5 to it, where n represents the number of observations that you're dealing with, and k represents the percentile or quartile that you would like to figure out. So when you uh, use this formula, it will give you a number, and that number represents the index position value. Now let me go ahead and do an example where we're trying to compute. So let's say, for example, we want to know where k, which is the percentile that we want, is 90. And for the number of observations, well, well first we'll want to go ahead and focus on one variable. And let's say we're going to focus on the cost per order. Since we're doing this manually, what I need to do is sort these values here out. So I'll do it in ascending order. And once I compute this formula, I can look for the number that this formula gives me in terms of the index position value and locate what the 90th percentile value would be. Now let me go ahead and just go to data filter and I'm going to go ahead and say in from smallest to largest number of observations and in, in cost per order I'm going to do a count a so we can just count how many I have here and I have 94 so I, I have the values for the numerator and everything else is fixed so if I want to compute this I can go ahead and say equal sign and I will select parentheses n times k divide that by 100 and add that you consider this to be an index position um, and since it's 85.1 I'm just gonna go ahead and round that and say it's 85 so with this sign right here and this is a sign that we use for approximation I'm just gonna say 85 the 85th position and I'm looking at my sorted values would be that 90th uh, percentile. So since this is the 85th index position number, then I can go ahead and use the index function on Excel to locate what that value would be here. Um, remember, this is sorted out. So if I were to uh, place it right underneath here and type in index and select the array, which would be the values in cost per order, and I'm going to hit comma, and for the row number, I'm going to say 85, the 85th index position. I'll close parentheses, and this is the value that is outputted. So that means that 90% of the cost per order are less than $74,375. And then about 10% of that is higher than this amount. Now, this was uh, a little bit of a process when it comes down to doing this manually. I can go ahead and just refer to the Excel functions, which will do the same thing. And I wouldn't have to worry about sorting the data like I did earlier. And if I were to hit the equal sign and then type in percentile, I'm just going to type in PER and these are the suggestions that I have. And you have different options, but normally what is commonly used is the .inc, which stands for inclusive. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And I'll go ahead and hit the tab. And it has it fully written out for me. So for the array, that's going to be the values. Even though they're sorted out here, I'll just leave it sorted. I don't need to change that. And then the second argument, so the array, I, I've selected it. The second argument, k, is the percentile that I'm interested in. So if I put 90, and I now this is either going to have to be a decimal format 0 0.90 or 90, but put a percent sign here. And I'm going to close the parentheses, hit enter, and I get this value that represents the 90th percentile. The number is slightly different, but this is pretty much how you would approach this. It would always be a good idea that you specify what method that you use. So if you did it manually or you worked with the percentile the inc or the exc type of function. So uh, just to be on the safe side. So because I have this value, I'm still saying that with this approach, that 
90% of the cost per orders here are less than this amount, 73,738. You can think about this approach that I did here as the, the manual method. So let me just write manual method. And then here I use the Excel method, sales uh, percentile INC. Now there is also quartiles, which is pretty much the same thing, but we divide the 100% into four. So there is a quartile function, and I would just do the same thing where if I were to select the array of data, hit comma, once I select that array of data, I can choose these values of uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And let's say I want to get the 25th percentile. So I'm just going to put the value 1. So I'm going to close the parentheses. And this is the value that represents the 25th percentile. Right? Now, if I were to write underneath this, type in percentile.inc, select that array of data, I will put 0.25 close parentheses, hit enter, I'll get that value, right? And I would just format the decimal points a little bit, but you will get to that same answer, right? So these are just different methods. Uh, now the quartile is only good if you're trying to figure out, for example, the 25th percentile, the 50th percentile, the 75th percentile. Now there is another method that you could use when it comes down to determining the percentiles, and that's found under the data analysis uh, tool pack. Now, if I go to the data tab, and select data analysis. There is a rank and percentile category that you can choose. I'll press OK. The input range is going to be the data array. In my case, it's already selected. And I'm going to say, I'll put this information in a new worksheet. And I'm not selecting the labels here. So I'm just going to press OK. And here I have this worksheet that shows several things. So let me just make this a little bit bigger. Here we have the percentile. And you'll also notice that the data, this is the data related to cost per orders, and this is sorted out in descending order. And this is the percentile related to the cost per orders. Now, this first column represents the location of the data point. So this value in my spreadsheet where the data is, is the 94th data point, is that index position, is how you'd want to look at this. Um, and then once it computes the percentiles, it gives it a rank and, and the percent in, in this particular order. Right? So there are different options when it comes down to figuring out these measures of relative positions. So before I conclude this video, let me just show you one more Excel function. I'm going to go back to the worksheet where the data is. And I will focus on this value here that came from the percentile.inc function. And if I want to determine the rank of this value, or better yet, if I want to determine the percentile, so I'm kind of working backwards here, what I could do is hit the percentile or percent rank.inc, and you'll notice here it says returns the rank of a value in the data set as a percentage. I'm going to go ahead and select that, select the data array, which is all the values in cost per order. And I'll select this value that I have here, close the parentheses, hit enter, and I get 90, the 90th percent. I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.